I rejoice when I heard the people saying, Let's go to the temple of the Lord. And now, at last, our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoice when I heard the people saying, Let's go to the temple of the Lord. And now, at last, our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us begin this Holy Eucharistic sacrifice in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends in Christ, in the first reading of today, Job is portrayed as a wealthy person of upright character who loves God. Job refuses to give up on God, even though he does not understand why all this trouble is happening in his life. We too must trust God when we do not understand the difficulties that we face. Here we need to not two very important points. Number one is fearing God and avoiding sin. That is what in the life of Job that he did. And also we read in the book of Proverbs, fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 9, 10. So therefore, if you really fear God and avoid sin, life will certainly flourish and grow and it would become successful. For all our failures, shortcomings and sinfulness, let's be sorry and ask pardon and forgiveness from the Lord, saying, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned. sinned. In, in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and, and, and in what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to Life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, Above all, by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 1, verses 6 to 22. There was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and 
upright man who fears God and turns away from evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for no reason? Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand and touch all that he has and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has in your hand, only against him do not stretch out your hand. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Now there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house, and there came a messenger to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them, and the Sabians fell upon them and took them and struck them, the servants, with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, The Chaldeans formed three groups and made a raid on the camels and took them and struck down the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house, and behold, a great wind came across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young people, and they are dead and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job arose and tore his robe and shaved his head and fell on the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, or charge God with wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Psalm, our response. Lord, turn your ear to me, hear my words. Lord, Lord turn, turn your, your ear, ear to me, me hear, hear my, my words. words. O Lord, hear a cause that is just, pay heed to my cry, turn your ear to my prayer, no deceit is on my lips. Lord, turn your ear to me, hear my words. From you may my justice come forth, your eyes discern what is upright. Search my heart and visit me by night, test me by fire, and you will find no wrong in me. Lord, turn your ear to me, hear my words. To you I call. For you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Display your merciful love. By your right hand you deliver from their force those who put their trust in you. Lord, turn, turn your, your ear, ear to, to me, me hear, hear my words. words. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. Chapter 9, verse 46 to 50. At that time, an argument arose among disciples as to which of them was the greatest. But Jesus, knowing the reasoning of their hearts, took a child and put him by his side and said to them, 
whoever receives the child in my name receives me and whoever receives me receives him who sent me for he who is least among all of you is the one who is great john answered master we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us but jesus said to him to not stop him for the one who is not against you is for you the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus, jesus christ. christ by the words of the scripture wipe away our sins so my dear friends in christ do not be surprised to see the disciples of jesus arguing about who is greatest among them this is exactly the same that we to experience in our day to day lives but jesus here made a dramatic gesture by placing a child next to himself to show his disciples who really is greatest in the kingdom of god he says who are really pure who are holy simple sincere and blameless and jesus himself is our model matthew 20 28 he came not to be served but to serve and in philippians chapter 2 verse 7 paul says he emptied himself and took the form of a servant and the book of james 4 6 says god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble if we want to be filled with god's life and power then we need to empty ourselves of everything which stands in the way pride envy self seeking glory vanity and possessiveness god wants empty vessels so that he can fill them with his own glory power and love second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 are we ready to humble ourselves and to serve as a master and lord dead let's pray lord jesus your grace knows no bounds you give freely to the humble of heart and you grant us freedom to love and serve others selflessly may our love express itself in our eagerness to do good for others we make this prayer through christ our lord Amen. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given in human hands up made it will become our spiritual food blessed, blessed be God, God forever, forever. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this wine to offer which earth is given in human hands of made it will become our spiritual drink blessed, blessed be, be God, God forever Lord God we ask you to receive us and be pleased to the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart Lord wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant us o merciful god that this our offering may find acceptance with you and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through christ our lord amen, amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord holy father our mighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. since our praises are nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our lord and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we, we proclaim your death o lord and profess your, your resurrection until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and oswald our bishop and all the clergy and the religious remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face our mercy on us all we pray That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Take 
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, O live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. By this we came to know the love of God, that Christ laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for one another. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united. Whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Jesus Christ is living in us. You are our gladness forever. Jesus Christ is living in us. You are our gladness forever. You are the truth, the light. Hallelujah. Now as it was for all the ages to come.
Jesus Christ is living in us. You are our gladness for 